we made Winslow last night. Um, yeah, we just came over into town just a little bit ago. Made some lunch. And yeah, we gotta go out to Wally World. We're gonna walk out there this evening. And hopefully we get Virginia into the vet on Monday. Yeah, I know. They're always fucking smoked up here. Yeah, that's what it seems like. So if not, we gotta hang out until then. So she gets to Huh, and you're gonna get a little bath dog. Yeah, she definitely needs one. So westbound Z right here. Seeing the Phoenix train leave earlier today. Yeah, and this is either Bakersfield or Bay Area or uh, LA. <coughs> Probably LA though. It's hard to tell just by looking at them. Like Sam yeah, whatever. That's what I mean. Yeah, same day. Yeah, they got this nice little gazebo. You got like gas stations and all that stuff. Just a block away, block or two away. But yeah, fun place to just come and watch trains. Listen to the radio. All right, well, see you later. Just gave Virginia a bath. Huh. She loves bad times. <sighs> Dry her with her dirty blankie. <laughs> yeah, because tomorrow she goes to the vet, so. I totally forgot they're not open on the weekends, and you can't even call them on the weekends to make an appointment, but. Ooh. That feel good, Rupert? Huh? Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, but yeah, we're just gonna hang out. Oh yeah, they're selling Girl Scout cookies in front of Walmart. Walmart? Yeah, might have to go buy some. When I'm sitting there. All right, well, gotta fill up waters. Gotta get Virginia some new dog shampoo too. So, pretty much, call the vet tomorrow before we go over there. Cause they're usually like packed and shit but it's like the only vet pretty much there's two of them in this town but that still almost got, empty no still like here <laughs> Coyote. Maybe. Could be. But yeah, cool. Uh, behind the Walmart. It's kind of one of the nicer, like pretty, prettiest backyard of Walmart. Shit that I can think of in a long time. All out there is the uh, Hopi Reservation. I think it just starts literally just like a mile or two over here. Pretty sure it's the Hopi, right? So, it is Hopi. Yeah, it's been super warm. A little windy, but 
make it then so you can actually wear some clothes not having to be in shorts and a t-shirt and shit but anyways yeah tomorrow's monday so we gotta um call that vet in the morning hopefully yeah they got a slot to get virginia in we don't have to hang out here too much longer I don't know, we just got here yesterday, so it's, it's not like we've been here long. Either, but. All right, see ya. All right, we're just hanging out. Tomorrow, Virginia has a vet visit at 11 in the morning. So we decided to cook some, like, the elbow macaroni. And then... So we got some green onions, some, what, some ground beef in there, and then with this sauce. Then we got some french bread left over, and there's pretty much enough for us to have more for tomorrow. So you just used half of it. Play bar, the yard over. We're just hanging out. Fucking cooking dinner. Yeah, I'm Just chilling, huh, Virginia? Virginia being bad dog. Hanging out with her new toys. She loves them. Her little alligator. And her little hot dog. Alright, well, we'll see you then tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna take her to bed. It's supposed to be like super high winds tomorrow, so. Up. Then we'll pretty much wait for a train afterwards. And then if we need to, Noah will walk up there to go um, get more train food, if anything. Yeah. We're just going to enjoy ourselves. We've just been relaxing since we kept, like, you know, pretty much been on a train every day. Staying up till pretty late to get on trains. When riding trains, pretty much like you get no sleep. And well, once you're on. Yeah, once we're on, but usually one one of us has to be awake to film, so we pretty much, at least there's two of us to take turns to film. Yeah, but it's, To bring videos to you guys, you know? Well, to do it by yourself would be old. Yeah. Virginia's nesting. <laughs> you nesting bubbies. Yeah. You ready for dinner? Yeah, it smells good, huh? All right. Well, like I said, we'll see you guys later. So we got a nice little house to stay out of that weather. It's windy as all hell. But Sylvan, Virginia, just went to go to the vet. It's just right down the street. And then you got the train yard right outside your window. Somebody was living in here, I think, since it's been abandoned and trashed it pretty good. Sucks. It's a nice little place. Or was, I bet. But yeah, we're just back here. Because, yeah, our train ain't going to be coming in until around like 8 or 9 o'clock tonight. place to fix it big enough too to you could literally have other tramps and bows be able to stay when they get off the train turn that into a little little hobo shack but yeah so Guess we'll give a little update when they get back to see if Virginia actually did have that UTI or what the deal is. But uh, yeah, we'll see you later. All right, Virginia's playing with her toy. <laughs> so she went to the vet today. So she got antibiotics for the UTI and some cranberry slug. 
like pills or something like for UTI um, it's a 75 day supply and also what else did you get Virginia um yeah she got the flea and tick med they didn't have the three months supply so we got some other one that's just as good hey don't make a mess oh she already ripped it apart look at i have to chase that now but yeah pretty much um she gets a updated vaccine this summer so we'll take her to wyoming to her other vet that she goes to but we're just hanging out our train won't get here till later, so. But that's what we did today. I took her to the vet, and we'll see if the UTI clears up with these antibiotics for. She got a 10 day supply, so we'll see what's up with her. Hopefully, it's. Hopefully, it's that, you know, nothing else. So. Because then they were saying something about. Um, what do they say about um, if this doesn't work it's because of she got fixed and I guess 10% of dogs that get fixed have problems with hormones and stuff so if this doesn't clear it up I guess Virginia is going to have to be on hormones or something like that but, like I said We'll find out in 10 days and then um yeah hopefully it clears up but yeah it's fucked up they come on come on you can do it you can make it good girl yeah they fucked all this up it'd be cool to come buff it come repaint it but i don't think it works like that huh bubs stuff over there I think it'll be fine for a second so that's what they did all that with that color 13 a nine two eight so I guess that's the area code here ooh no it's in there you want to take the camera what? Yeah. Well, this is pretty cool. You can wait in here. Shitty weather. Hell, sleep in here. Yeah, it's a straight hangout spot. Getting on a little drinking session up in here. Doesn't really look like any train tags. I guess there's one. Yeah, that door you couldn't open last time we were here. The hooligan kids figured out how to break into it. Pretty cool though. Heavy equipment. This is way cool. Perfect place to just come hang out. Scare the tourists when they come up to check out the trains. Seat. Uh, maybe I 
shouldn't be pulling levers and shit. Our train will be in by like eight or nine o'clock tonight. And our leaders is gonna have a war bonnet on it. Not the lead locomotive, it'll be the third third trailing. But yep. So maybe we'll get to go through to Hatchapi bright and early in the morning. See you later. So yeah, we're waiting still. Well, not like we've been waiting a long time. It sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not, but <laughs> um, yeah, they're having a speed restriction between here and Amarillo. So the whole Seligman sub. And I think even part of the panhandle sub, obviously, but um, yeah, 45 mile an hour speed restrictions for everything. So, they didn't really say why. Could be the wind. I know it's pretty windy. It's like it's windy here, but it's not super bad. But it definitely gets bad once you're heading east out of here. You know, like out past, uh, especially, yeah, past like Berlin. It gets really bad. But, uh, so yeah, maybe a little later until it finally comes in. But no worries. It's not even supposed to be all that cold tonight, so stand it for a while. I think they got a little labyrinth going on here. I guess that's yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, I really need a, like, old, like, hotel. They got, like, restaurant in there and all that crap. I think they got a restaurant in there. And then they got, like, gift shop and all that crap, but... I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's not the Palladio. It's, a uh, fuck, I don't know, something, something along those lines. But, yeah, it's all got this cool like adobe brick type of stuff shale i don't even know yeah, it goes all the way around but then yeah like along the wall it's got all these like little portholes like i wonder if like it was for i don't know exactly how old this place is i'm sure pretty damn old though to where maybe for so they can, you know, from the insides, put the point guns out, you know, your rifle or something. This is like an this is an Amtrak stop though here. They got the whole little platform. Kind of cool the old brick walkways. Yeah, I love coming to this town. It's probably definitely up there in the top top places to visit as far as me and Silva like come, coming to uh, being out west 
It's like a cool town. Nobody, nobody bothers you. you know? Cops know what's up. As long as you're not dipshit, it'd be fine. But yeah, this is where the Santa Fe Chief will stop. I think the westbound, I don't know which number it is, but I'm pretty sure he normally comes in in the evening. Like fairly late too, like around like midnight or so. But I don't even, I don't think it's daily. I don't think he comes daily. But anyways, yeah, well, I guess we'll see ya. Um, you know, maybe turn on the camera again before the train comes or something. But yeah, we're waiting on the, uh, it's basically the same train we rode into Berlin on it's the uh, Willow Springs to North Bay. And yeah, like I said, the way we'll know it's it. He's gonna have four leads and then the third trailing will be an old war bonnet. Not one of the fake bonnets, but one of the, the actual old, like, gray. The gray and red Santa Fe locomotives. Alright, we're on our train. Yeah. So, pretty much, it's on our... I can't even talk. But... No, I had enough time to go grab beer. By the time we came back, pretty much our train pulled up. So, heading north to California. So, pretty much the timing. I'm pretty sure we'll get the Tatch P loop during the day. So, which is a plus. And, yeah. So, we'll be in California by morning. Well, pretty much by midnight, probably. But. All right, well, it's going to be dark, so we'll probably just, we'll have the, turn it on more tomorrow. All right, bye.
storm in effect tomorrow. They're still fucking with boxes, so it must be that big of a pile. Man. <clears throat> How green and pretty it is. I love, I love it this time of the year. Yeah, so like I said, we're gonna go to my uncle's, pick up Mal, and then test try the tin out, and I'm gonna ditch a bunch of shit at my uncle's, and we'll take the tent with us up north, so. The North Bay. Alright, well, like I said, we're gonna go pick up a tent. Pick up Mel. And. Do everything else. Alright, we'll see you guys. Ah, fine morning. So, yeah, they were breaking into shit right here. So, they were fucking doing it probably when uh, they were messing, when they were running the train god damn that sucks dude but whatever it happens luckily the highway 58 is just right there you know looking on the maps there's like a dirt road we can cut through and get up to it and you can go and stand on it i'm pretty sure you're allowed to i don't think it's considered like a interstate so i think california you're good on highways it's just like you can't get up onto like the interstates so it's literally like as the crow flies to bakersfield it's like fucking 15 miles if that and then there's a bus stop but it's up there by where the tehachapi loop is and where it, it don't even make no sense to walk all the way that far to try to get to that bus stop someone will pull over and throw us in the truck there's a bunch of like you know a bunch of mexicans they usually pick people up so We'll get a ride but yeah sylvie made a good point it's like why pull us off literally where they're robbing the train it, i don't know it just it sucks and yeah if that worker you guys see this i'm sorry uh that we uh kind of you know got into it a little yelling match you know i know you guys are probably pissed off this morning having to come out here before the sun comes out having to deal with this fucking train because the assholes and then yeah we got caught up in the middle of it but yeah hopefully your day gets better but yeah this is uh riding train sometimes say what watch the time yeah i know all right well we gotta finish back it up and get the hell out of here all right see ya There she comes. Even Virginia's watching. I'm gonna hop on the flight, Virginia. Come here. Come here. Hey. Oh, damn. Crazy. This guy's probably gonna rat us out, but
Yeah. Fucking assholes. Jesus. breakfast after the hike <laughs> freaking the elevation of Virginia so the highway is literally right there that's where we're gonna go stand sure it's pretty out here and then also like where that tree is right there on the other side we had to walk around off the paths because there's a huge cow he was laying down just eating grass, but when he seen us, he stood up and Virginia's not a model inmate. I don't think Virginia's ever met a cow in person. She was just barking at him. Yeah, she so. likes barking at him. Uh, we didn't know if Hey, it was... don't be kicking dirt right here. Go somewhere else and do that. Come on. Go over here, dude. Look. Go over there. No, not right there. Ew, caca. Whoa, look at that big old mushroom. Is that turkey tail? I think. Or oyster, I don't know. Well. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Alright, here we are. Hold on. We're trying to get a ride now. Hopefully we don't stay out here too long. Because we're almost out of water. We have no food now since we ate breakfast. But. All right, wish us luck. It's still early. It's like 9 a.m. So 